नेक्स्ट इज कॉलम मेट्रिक्स टाइप क्वेश्चन सो इट्स गिवन दैट अ क्लास ऑफ स्टूडेंट हैज सिक्स बॉयज एंड फाइव गर्ल्स Let n one denotes the number of ways of arranging them in a row so that no two girls are together. So let's firstly find n one. We have to arrange them in a row so that no two girls are together. So let's firstly arrange boys. That is b one, b two, b three, b four, b five, b six. Now we have seven seats for girls, right? So in six factorial ways we can arrange boys and from seven seats let's select any five seats for the girls and in five factorial ways we can arrange them so from the given options it is not matching with any one so this is six factorial five factorial into seven into six upon two so this is equal to three into seven factorial into five factorial so correct answer is option number two right now let's talk about q Where we have to find n two. N two denotes the number of ways of arranging them around a round table so that no two girls are together. Okay, so let's firstly arrange six boys in five factorial ways. We have arranged six boys. Now we want five seats for girls. So from Six seats. We can select any five seats for girls and let them sit in five factorial ways. That is equal to six factorial into five factorial, which means that correct option is four. Now let's talk about R, where we have to find n three. N three denotes the number of ways of arranging them in a row so that boys and girls are alternate to each other, right? There is only one way in which we can sit them alternate because we have two. One, two, three, four, five. Only five seats, right? So the total number of ways are six factorial for arranging boys and five factorial for arranging girls. So from the given option, option number four is the correct choice. Now let's talk about s. That is value of n four. It denotes the number of ways of arranging them on a circle so that boys and girls are alternate. See, boys are already sitting here. Six. And we have five girls. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six seats. But we have only five girls. So there is no way in which we can arrange them alternately on a circle. So answer is zero. That is option number five. So the correct answer is option number C. Next column says that if the roots of the equation f x equal to x raised to the power six. Minus twelve x raised to the power five plus b x four plus c x cube plus d x square plus e x plus sixty four equal to zero are all positive. Then we have to answer the following options. See, let's assume that their roots are alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, and so on up to alpha six. So it has been given to to us that the sum of roots is twelve, which means that. Alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha six divided by six is equal to two. Also, if I find product of roots, so this is equal to sixty four. So if I find alpha one, alpha two, alpha six whole raised to the power one by six, so that will be equal to two, which means that from equation one and two, we can say that AM is equal to GM, which is possible only if. All the values are equal, which means that alpha one is equal to alpha two is equal to, and so on up to alpha six is equal to two, which means that f x is equal to x minus two whole raised to the power six. Right now, this can be written equal to six c zero x raised to the power six plus six c one x raised to the power five into minus two plus. Six c two x raised to the power four into four plus six c three x cube into minus eight plus six c four x square into sixteen plus six c five into x into minus two raised to the power five that is minus thirty two plus six c six that is one into minus two raised to the power six that is. Sixty-four. So, 
P says that value of f of 4 is from equation 3 we can directly say f of 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power 6 that is 64 so answer is 3 option similarly directly we can find option number s also that is f dash 4 which is equal to 6 into 4 minus 2 raised to the power 5 that is 6 into 2 raised to the power 5 that is equal to 92 so its answer is option number 2 now let's find option number q where we have to find the value of d c b right now d is equal to coefficient of x square that is 64 that is 15 into 16 and value of c that will be equal to coefficient of x cube that is 63 into minus 8 and value of b that is equal to coefficient of x raised to the power 4 that is 15 into 4 that is 60 and also let's find the value of e that is equal to coefficient of x that is minus 32 into 6 so c is equal to 20 into minus 8 that is minus 160 so let's find d plus c minus b that is 15 into 16 minus 160 minus 60 that is equal to 15 into 16 minus 220 so from taking 4 common from here we will get 60 minus 55 so that is equal to 20 so its answer is 6 option now let's find option number R where we have to find d plus e that is 15 into 16 minus 6 into 32 taking 16 common we are left with 15 minus 12 that is 16 into 3 that is 48 so correct answer is option number 1 so 3 6 1 2 that is correct answer is option number b Next is question number 53 which says that let alpha, beta, gamma, delta are the distinct solutions of the equation tan of pi by 4 minus theta equal to tan 3 theta in 0 to pi. So we have to answer the following questions. So tan of a minus b is tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan theta is equal to tan 3 theta is 3 into tan theta minus 4 tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. So let's solve it. We will get 1 minus 3 tan square theta minus tan theta plus 3 tan cube theta is equal to 3 tan theta minus 4 tan cube theta plus 3 tan square theta minus 4 tan raised to the power 4 theta. So this is further equal to tan 4 theta plus 4 tan cube theta minus 6 tan square theta minus 4 tan square theta plus 1 equal to 0. So from here we will see that summation of tan alpha is equal to minus 4. Summation of tan alpha tan beta that is taking 2 at a time is minus 6 and summation of taking 3 at a time tan alpha tan beta tan gamma is equal to 4 and summation of taking 4 at a time 1 so p option says that summation of tan alpha that is minus 4 so option number 2 is correct and option number q says that summation of 1 by tan alpha so that is 1 by tan alpha plus 1 by tan beta and so on so this will be equal to taking lcm tan alpha tan beta tan gamma tan delta so in the numerator we will get sum taking 3 at a time and that is 4 so this is equal to 4 upon 1 that is 4 so answer is option number 1 let's firstly find option number s which says that summation of tan alpha tan beta that is taking 2 at a time that is minus 6 so option number 4 is correct now option number r says that we have to find tan of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta so this will be equal to sum taking 1 at a time minus 3 at a time upon 1 minus taking 2 at a time plus taking all the 4 at a time so this is equal to minus 4 minus 4 divided by 1 plus 6 plus 1 so that is minus 8 upon 
8 that is minus 1 so correct answer will be 6 so from the given options 2 1 6 4 is given in option number A so A is the correct choice next is question number 54 which says that sum of certain consecutive odd positive integers is 57 square minus 13 square with maximum number of terms so we have to answer the following options so let us assume the odd integers as 2m plus 1 2m plus 3 and so on and let us say we have n terms here so the sum of these terms that is 57 square minus 13 square sum will be equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d that is equal to n multiplied with 2m plus 1 plus n minus 1 so this is equal to n into 2m plus n so this can be written as m plus n square minus m square right so 57 square minus 13 square can be written equal to this now it will be seen that n should be maximum for n to be maximum and m and n both should be integers for that we have only one case here that m should be equal to 13 and m plus n should be equal to 57 which means that n will be equal to 44 so this is the case here let's now solve the options option number p says that the least of these integers is least is 2m plus 1 so that is 27 so answer is 4 q number of integers is n that is 44 so answer is 3 r says that number of factors of 4n plus 1 type for largest integer see largest integer is a plus n minus 1 into d so this is equal to 2m plus 2n minus 1 so that is equal to 2 times m plus n minus 1 that is 1 1 3 we need number of factors of 4n plus 1 type that is only 1 so correct answer is sixth option and s says number of divisors of sum of least and greatest integer greatest integer is 1 1 3 and least integer is 27 so its sum is 140 and we have to find the number of divisors so 140 can be written equal to 5 into 7 into 2 squares so number of divisors will be equal to 2 into 2 into 3 that is 12 so answer is option number 2 so from the given options 4 3 6 2 that is option number b is the correct choice so this was all about AITS 1A power step. I hope all the queries has been solved. Thanks for watching.